The Beavers knew that Utah's front seven was going to be physical, but they just couldn't do anything about it. Oregon State ran the ball 26 times for a total of 32 yards. Plus, Sean Mannion had pressure in his face all night long. He was sacked six times and threw three interceptions. They really came on when we had to throw too much in the second half is that that's when it got pretty bad and it really got hard from there and it, and of course we didn't run the ball at all tonight i mean our brushing total was not very good and that was again the difference in the game it's frustrating but i mean you, you got to play with a short memory and just keep your head up and say i'm gonna get the next one and and uh you know that's that's the approach i've always taken and you know you're gonna have a couple bad plays and you just got to uh you know, kind of just take it and, and move forward and, 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 and just look forward to the next play and forget about it. We know he does he does a lot of good things, you know, so nobody is mad at Sean for anything. So we're a team and that's how all we do is stick together. But they were doing a lot of pressure. We knew what they were going to do coming in and we just got to be able to stop it. We practice on it all week. And that's all we got to do. If you're young and, and, uh, and, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself, you know, you find out tonight that you can get the rug pulled out from under you pretty fast. So for the second time this year, Oregon State fails to win two games in a row, and it doesn't get any easier next week. The Beavers return home to face Andrew Luck and the Stanford Cardinal. With the Beavers in Salt Lake City, I'm Phil Milani, KVAL Sports.